Okay, Pa, so tell us a story about one of the times you went fishing. Well, let me put it to you this way. One time we went fishing, we went at work. We got paid on Fridays. And Friday nights after work, instead of going right home, we would all get together and do some fishing or uh, play cards and do some fishing. And then one time there we went fishing, my buddy and me, and we started fishing on a Friday night and playing cards. And the next thing you know, it was Sunday morning. We had fished all Friday night, all Saturday, lost the car. We were so drunk. How'd you lose the car? Well, we parked it in one uh, beer joint and forgot where we parked it, and we rode with somebody else to another beer joint, and we were drinking so much that so we got drunk ourselves sober, and we went and got his car somehow, and then we lost his car too, and both cars had mom's medication in it, so she didn't get her medication till sometime Sunday night. And that's what we did. We ended up playing cards and, and drinking beer and fishing from Friday night all the way through till Sunday. <laughs> and we got drunk and drove ourselves back up again and got drunk again. <laughs> and lost two cars in the process. <laughs> Very smart. But other times we would play cards on Friday night. Friday night was our bowling night after all that other junk stuff. So after bowling on Friday night, we all met at my house because we had a card table there and I had the bar and a built-in bar where all the drinks, everybody brought their own drinks and then we played cards there from Friday night to Sundays again. <laughs> I remember that because you guys used to drop change on the ground and that's how they used to get us kids yep. to clean up. Leave it for the cleaner. <laughs> yep, and we used to but, clean uh, up and we used to be able to keep all the change. So Mom used to go to bed Friday night and say, good night fellas, get up on Saturday morning or, or Sunday morning and say, good morning fellas, your wives are going to kill you. <laughs> Do you remember the one time? I don't remember who you played it on. Um, it was around Easter time, and Mom made a whole bunch of hard-boiled eggs, and she left one soft-boiled, and she put a little mark on it. I think it was for Bill Zimzak. I don't remember who got it, but yes, there was <laughs> one that uh, was soft-boiled. And I don't remember if he ended up with it or not. It was raw. It wasn't soft-boiled. It was no, raw. No, it was raw. It wasn't cooked at all. Yeah, it was raw. <laughs> And and we they we played the game, you know, smack the egg on the head, <laughs> and he got the one. Somebody got the raw one and <laughs> smacked it. <laughs> I remember that. Oh, we used to have a hell of a time playing cards and drinking and doing all that crazy stuff. <laughs> we used to have a New Year's Eve party every year at our house too. Oh, it was. That's because our house was the one that set up, it was set up with the bar and the whole shebang. And then uh, it was always, come to Fred's house, that's where the big bar is and uh, all the booze and uh, all the fun. <laughs> Even all our, the kids, all our friends always came and hung out at our house. We had bushes in front of our house that had spaces in between them and Dad used to come home from work and there'd be bikes parked in between all the bushes because all the kids would be at our house because we had the pool. So, remember and the that? Spa. Well, we didn't have the spa at that time. Oh, we didn't at have that it. Spa. I thought we yeah. had that all along. No, no, we didn't get that till later in life. But remember, you used to come home and all the kids used, all the bikes used to be parked between all the bushes and all the kids used to be at our house, yep. always hanging out oh. at our house. Well, it was the Walden hangout, and they all knew it, and they all, even the cops knew that there was no problems there with the kids hanging out there. Yep, and then we had the field across the street, so we used to go play football and baseball right in yep. the field there. Yeah. So, we had a lot of fun in that house. Yeah, it's a shame I had to get rid of it, but I did. But that was right in town, too, and town was really falling apart. If, if I could, no, the house was beautiful. The house was beautiful, but if town I, was going apart. The town to. was going apart, yeah. yeah. If I could have moved that house somewhere else, it would have been a joyful thing. 
My dad couldn't sit still in that house, though. The house did not need any work. He would knock down a wall just to make work for himself. Just to find something. <laughs> just, to, just to change one room, I would do it again. Do you remember the big octopus furnace when you took that out and I oh. fell through the hole? Oh, geez, that thing. <laughs> Do you remember me falling through the hole? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was, I was tiny, tiny. Fall through that vent hole up top. Oh, I was tiny. And yeah. the basement of our house, that house used to be a garage, right? And yeah. it had a Ford. Yeah, it was an old body of a Ford that was parked in there, yep, it's all rusted and busted up though, you couldn't even make nothing out of it. Didn't it catch on fire at one point? Yeah, yeah, and not when we had it before. No, no, and then they buried it in the backyard, and the backyard was flat, and then it had a big hill, and we were digging out the hill to make the bottom part flat, because I was going to put a pool in down there, but we didn't do it. <laughs> and we found the, the chassis, remember? The what? The chassis to the car. Yeah. We found it. It was down in there. Yep. And I yanked it out and buried it down further. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, but those were the days. Yep. So, so there's another tall tale from the Lone Wolf, guys, and we'll catch you guys. Next. And we'll think of some more in due time as time goes by. And we'll uh, tell you more. He's got plenty. Yep. Until then, have a good day and goodbye. <laughs> Bye for now.